Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one red cell at a time, back with the one and only Jonathan from Convoy Home Loans. How you doing, buddy? I'm alive and well. How are you? <laughs> hey, uh, well, let's talk about potentially helping some people. I don't know if you're hearing it, but I know I'm seeing it. a bunch of people got stuck in burrs with hard money or maybe even family private money that need to get out. There's a lot of flippers that are debating whether to try to take a loss or hold as a rental. But again, they have these hard money dates that are really uh, chomping at them. Uh, I'm guessing that some people are reaching out to you, but let's let's talk about saving some people or at least buying some people time uh, that are caught in some bad situations. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's pretty brutal out there, right? Because think about the market we just came out of and it became so hot to do the Burr method or even fix and flip, right? Because everything was appreciating. Um, now we're entering into a kind of a slowing, declining market. And these people that thought they were going to get all this equity and sell it are unfortunately not. So um, I'm seeing it across the board, across the country, uh, not just in one market, especially for people that bought with very slim margins, which you would call an alligator. Um, yes. Yeah. But, you know, those those types of properties right now, their bridges are pretty much coming up um, is what I'm seeing because they bought it maybe six months ago or a year ago. Um, and they're only a few months left or they have to get an extension on the on the hard money loan. Um, and, you know, hard money is getting expensive, too. Right. Yeah. We're, we're no longer in the seven percent days. We're now in the if you're lucky, 9% up to oh, 11%, dude, hard, hard money's 11, 11. That's a lot. Hard money's 11. Wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we still have like we, so right now the biggest problem is that, um, you know, finding a solution to be able to have clients be able to secure their property to either extend the time frame to finish building or to like extend the time. So they're not like pinched for the stress of like, I need to do something within a month. Right. Um, Cause that's the scariest thing. There's nothing scarier than like a 500 or $200,000 note coming due at the end of a month. Right? I've been so there. Like, I had a, I had an apartment yeah. building where the seller second uh, came due in 2008. Let me just tell you, that was a horrible time for a, a seller second to come due. Um, yeah. So I, I've been there. I know exact, I remember white knuckling having that conversation because it could have gone either way. Thankfully we got a five-year extension, but boom, that was, that was one of the most, that was really scary, right? Looking yeah. at an asset that was even in that market worth seven figures and potentially losing it because uh, the seller could have chose a different ending. And uh, thankfully, they didn't want it back. So we worked something out. But man, frightening, frightening. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people are in that state right now. And if they're not feeling it yet, and they, they're, it's here, coming. Here's the, <laughs> here, yeah. Here's the little nuance that I've seen is I, two different attitudes. One is, Oh my God, I have, my time's running out. I have to do something with it. The other one is, ah, I have three months, you know? <laughs> if you have three months, you're, you're late. Two, I three know. Months go, I mean, I, I freaked out 18 months in advance. Exactly. My five years. Oh, this is crazy. Exactly. So, I mean, there's people in on two sides of that, right? They're like, ah, oh, three months. But, you know, what, I, what I've been telling clients is, look, three months, three months ago was still 2022. Three months now is a new year. Mm, yeah. So no one knows what's going to happen on the change of the calendar year from 2022 to 2023. Yeah. No one knows. At least for the end of this year, we know rates are going to go up. You know, there's volatility, whatever. That, we, it's expected. What yeah. happens in 2023? No one knows. No one knows. Yeah. So yeah. I've been telling, you know, I've been telling clients like, look, Hey, you know, I understand you feel like you have a lot of time because you have three months left, but three months is not that long. You know, just, let's, you had, let's thank, figure. Uh, th just remember this three months has Halloween, Thanksgiving, yeah. Christmas, New Year's. Yeah. You've lost like, I don't know, whatever it is, 17 days. It's not really yeah. three months. It's like two months. It's just, exactly. it's not good. It's not good. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, what, what a lot of those clients I'm, I'm like encouraging you to do, even though it sucks, I know it sucks is if they cannot sell the property, you have to find a solution now. You got to get a Band-Aid, yeah, a tourniquet. Because again, I've, I've, I've told people that there was a buddy of mine who was worth 10 million bucks legit flipping big homes in, in the Bay Area in the last mm -hmm. crisis. And he didn't take a small loss because he thought he could Band-Aid it together. And that one decision uh, caused bankruptcy, divorce, and you know, pretty much loss of everything. So again, sometimes you got to take a small L. You got you to put the tourniquet 
on it so it bleeds slowly so you can buy time till next. Like for some of you, you got to just pretend and get to, you got to get to March or April. Winners mm-hmm. here, recession fears, buyers this, 7% rates, whatever it is. You're like, dude, I got to get to March. How do I get to March? And uh, yeah, you've got to do something. Exactly. And you know, a lot of these uh, private money lenders that if you have like six, even six months left on your 12 month term, you know, you, you know, you're running out of time. You better, you know, figure it out now. It's be- it's going to be better to pay a little more to do it now. I agree. And extend it out a year because not for a year from now is October of next year, even than yeah. to like, oh, I'm going to do it maybe three months later or two months later. There's no point in waiting right now. We talked in the I first agree. video about if you like it, lock it. This is the same situation. If you like it and you know you can't do anything with it right now, put the Band-Aid on it, slap it on there, rub some dirt on it, take the pain for a short period of time, and then you refi out of it or sell it later. But this that's the only solution right now. Funny, you asked me what I'm doing in my business in episode number two, and I actually told yep. you step one is I got prepared. Mm-hmm. I, I, no, I, I had no idea rates would be seven. I called seven by the end of the year. I had no idea what happened in late September but I knew it was coming. So we got prepared early folks. You've, you've got to remove risk. And for me, interest rates are one of the biggest risks. short term. Dave Ramsey, the most conservative investor on the planet busted out because he was using 90 day debt. Don't be Dave Ramsey. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so, you know, right now, what uh, the solution for a lot of my clients or people that have reached out, um, ORAD or not, because a lot of ORAD subscribers are actually very educated and a little more smart with their money, which is you know, a which little is more good. conservative, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. They're all they're all aspiring to be the uh, Warren Buffett of, uh, of real estate. Um, like so, but, you know, right now, if anyone's in that situation, it's, um, you know, find a solution now. Um, we still have you know, bridge and, you know, all that, all those terms that, it, you know, I say nine, you said 11 earlier, but we're still in the nines to nine. I, I don't, I don't consider you hard money. I consider you non firm So hard money. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard money. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we're still in the nines to tens, which is, you know, it's all, oh, that's a crazy rate, but it's actually <clears throat> not really. It, it's not about the rate. It's about getting yeah. to the other side. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And I love that you, you accentuate that because that's very important. Um, but you know, right now we're doing a lot of bridge programs to be able to allow them to gap the, you know, the year, uh, get it yeah. past 2022 to 2023. Cause no one knows what's going to happen at least by that time, because who knows in 2023, when you try to do something, rates might be at 13% on the same thing that you're trying to do now. So yes, it might be a little more expensive now. Yes. You might pay a little more points, but it's going to be worth it for the peace of mind knowing that, hey, I have that time till next October, potentially, or next November, potentially, to be able to do something with it, whether it's sell it or keep it. And the most important part whenever you're doing these things is no prepay. On these short-term loans, no prepay. There is Please, no, no prepay. Yeah. Please, because you do not know what's going to happen in the next 12 months. No one knows what's going to happen. So no prepay is the main thing, right? Even if it's a little higher rate, no prepay. Because if you, there's no point, if it's, especially if you're not going to keep it long term. If you know it's going to be a short term deal, no prepay, 12 months, just get it done, secure it in, which is what I'm telling a lot of clients right now. Just do it right now while rates are still here because no one knows what it'll be later. It's a small price to pay now for the, for the pain or massive you know, increase in rate and payments that you might have to do later. So totally agree. that's, that's the main focus for uh, a lot of people that are stuck in bridges. And a lot of times I, I said it on the channel multiple times, but see periods from like, you know, if they've listed it on sale, a lot of these DSCR non QM lenders have internal rules that say you cannot do anything for three to six months after you've listed it for sale. Yeah. So that's something nobody talked about. No, no normal loan officer is going to know what you're talking about. They're going to tell you, Oh no, we're good. And then they're going to put you in process. You're going to go for four months and wait there because all they were doing were they were actually waiting for the seasoning period to hit that they didn't know about at the beginning. So, you know, we have lenders that'll specifically do it without a seasoning period with three months only, you know, it, it, the, the options are just there, right? And that's, that's our main focus is to provide options, but it's very important that you guys understand that if you're, if you've listed something, if you've, you know, done something to the property, there's always seasoning periods attached to it. So do not ignore those seasoning periods. 
take no prepay if you're going short term. If you're going long term, seasoning period, seasoning period, seasoning period. It's very like important. It. Yeah. I love this advice. Folks, if you're out there and you're stuck in something, again, don't be Dave Ramsey and bust out with short term debt. Don't once one domino falls, it gets really hard to stop that momentum. Again, Dave Ramsey was a millionaire back in the 80s when being a millionaire was cool, uh, but he lost it all because of short-term debt. Don't don't be Dave Ramsey. If you're in that situation, reach out to Convoy. How do you want them to do that? Email private client at convoyhomeloans.com and please let us know you're for more at. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Thank you.